Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of City Skylines. And yes, folks, City Skylines is back on the channel. It's been a little bit, it's been about a week and a half. Uh, I had a lot of people asking about it and where it was, and I just took a little bit of a break to kind of refresh my mind. I'm ready to jump back in, ready to get to designing and attempting to make this city as great as possible. So, last episode, we did all of this work here, and you can see stuff still popping up. All this road work that is uh, linked out to the highway here, uh, that's where we were expanding upon. Now, I do want to fill this in. Like, this is the area for downtown that is probably about where it's going to end. I can't go any further. I mean, we've really filled this thing out, which is pretty impressive. So, hmm, where do we want to begin? This is going to be a, probably a little bit of an all-over episode. I'm not going to focus on one particular thing until I can point something out that I know I need to start working on. So, what do we got down here? I do apologize uh, if the frame rate's a little low here by the city. It's kind of grown so massive, and yeah, the game can only take so much. So, we're going to go ahead and start expanding roads down this way. And let's just make a big... You know what, let's stop about probably... Let's just stop about right there. Let's see, where's the nearest road... I might not have any cross streets over here. I'm looking for the nearest road to connect to. Uh, we might be creating a new intersection here on the back side of the uh, buildings. Let's say there's one here. That seems like it's not in a good position. Let's go about right here and we'll cut off this excess. So this will be a new area. Now, the one thing that's a little bit of a pain in the butt, and I mentioned this last episode, is some of these big rolling hills basically it doesn't look so bad from up here but once the buildings start lining up down here it creates a weird effect where the building will be setting up really high and there's like a steep drop off uh, the way I kind of went against that last episode was I built a park which we might still square out I don't know this area is even worse than the other one so we'll see what we're gonna do here uh, right now we do have a medium demand for commercial zoning so, we're going to go ahead and add some more of that. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not connecting any of these roads to this main one here, uh, this is one of my, I call it my inlet to the city, and I don't want to put intersections in it because I need the traffic running as smooth as possible because a lot of those goods that are going in, those are all for the commercial areas here on the outer side. So, what kind of road are we, oh, actually, what have we been using? It's been so long. Uh, four lanes. Hmm, let's go ahead. Are we going to do a cross or are we going to do up and down? I think we want to do a cross here. So, let's see. That's a connection there. I don't want to run intersections that close. Let's go ahead. We'll split it down. Something about... Uh, on OCD's kicking in right there. Yeah, that weird hump that it's creating. It's so... It's so awkward. Like, I don't know what to do with it. I could create a park right here. But we still have some weird zones through here. Now, if they start stacking up buildings up and down these streets, you might not notice it. So, good possibility that we're not going to use that. Uh, we'll say there's going to be some sort of park. Probably, actually, it doesn't need to be a big street. Let's go ahead and put some trees here. Let's say we're going to put a park right here. Or it could be down here. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go ahead and check our water. It's already getting dark. I just started building. Uh, if you're new to this series, I don't like to build much at night. I like to look at the city at night, but building at night is not really ideal for video recording because it can be a little hard to see. Uh, let's go there. Okay, so we've got that all hooked up. Now, commercial zoning. Let's go ahead. We're doing high density. Let's give him this back side here. We'll let him go down the street here, here. And we'll give him this. This is like a little commercial district. We might be able to do something uh, neat here in the middle. I wonder if they have uh, any commercial statues. If they if they do, we've probably used them. But let's go ahead and zone all of that in. Now, we are losing a little bit of population. We're up to 146,000. I'll see what this commercial zoning does. I do see some residential zoning popping up or at least some need for it. Uh, so I'll see which areas we're going to work with, but I'm going to go ahead and cycle around today here and we'll see what's popped up in this little commercial district. Oh, right. It is morning. Uh, you can see they've started to expand down these roads. It is admittedly a bit awkward looking, but I don't 
really want to mess with the terrain tool to try to flatten this out because regardless it's going to create an issue somewhere. But what we're going to do here, uh, they need a little park so imagine this being a little park area or we might make the big one a park area. Maybe we'll do more commercial zoning here even though there's a weird split there now because of the way the road is. Maybe we'll move that road up. I think that's what we're going to do here. And we'll just have another one of those really oversized parks. I say you can't have enough parks in the city anyway, so let's go ahead and add that. And let's go ahead and convert this over to high density commercial. Okay, so now we've got this area to play with down here. So there was a building I was looking at. Uh, we've got this Theater of Wonders. That would be pretty cool to have in a commercial district. There's shopping, restaurants, and all that down here. So. How does it fit? That's always my one important question. That is dead center. Oh, yeah. So we can, oh no. We can do that. Ah, that's the problem. Look at that. It looks like it's sitting on the side of a mountain. Boy, this area is going to be hard to work with. All right, let's move it. Let's move it down. Will it fit on the, maybe it'll, it'll look better down here. Uh, how about here? Okay, that's much better. Question is, is it getting electricity? Yes. Uh, there is a bit of a wedge cut in right down here that looks a bit awkward, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to camouflage this area. So, we'll go in, we will put, uh, let's go ahead and go with some normal parks up here. Um, uh, you know, let's go with the Japanese garden. That's kind of cool. Maybe we'll stick it on the corner. The only bad thing about the, uh, like the garden and the botanical garden, actually the botanical's not that bad. It's the Japanese garden doesn't have any paths going in and out of it, so it's a little hard to link it with other things. Uh, let's go with the park here in the center. And if you haven't seen me do this before, I'm going to start connecting a bunch of random paths and make this look like a full park, including the uh, Theater of Wonders down here. That little wedge cut in the terrain doesn't bother me as bad as what it looked like up here, so I'm relatively happy with that, even though I can be a bit picky at times. Uh, let's go ahead... You know, I would prefer if that was actually, like, paved paths. But let's go ahead and go with gravel here. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll connect one out here. It's going to swing through, let out there. Let's go ahead and cut one across that way. Uh, let's go ahead and let out one here. Let's see, we got another outlet right here, so we'll connect there. I'll uh, start putting in some trees and stuff down here, and this one needs to lead into the dog dog park. There we go. So we got that. Uh, let's keep doing some connections here. You know, we could add some parking down here by the uh, theater, that might make it look a little bit a little bit cleaner looking. Okay, so we got some paths up here, and let's see. All right, as far as parking down here, I've got some decent sized parking that I think will fit on each side. So if we were to go say here and uh, you know, did I screw something up with the placement on this? Should it be one up? It might need to be one over. Hold on. Let's go ahead and stick this over here for a second. Okay, theater, did I, did I screw this up? Does it really need to be, I think it needs to be right here. Now that's dead center. Okay, so can these, will these lots fit actually? Yeah, yeah they will. Okay, so we're gonna stick one there. And then we're gonna stick one more lot on the other side. So let's go large parking lot. You know, I really would list all the mods that I'm using for you guys if I could keep up with it. Uh, there's, I just use a lot of building mods. I don't do many modifications to the game as far as uh, say something that changes traffic. I do have Traffic King on. Uh, but I don't really mess with it in a sense of like limiting stuff, like not being able to go on and off roads. I think I may may have done that maybe once or twice. Uh, but to me, I like to try to figure it out uh, with the vanilla game and try to figure out exactly how to fix my traffic problems instead of just telling a certain type of traffic you can't go here. Uh, but maybe I should use it a bit more. But right now, everything seems pretty good. I uh, get a little bit of a traffic blockage here. Uh, there's none in this inlet here. Now, this one over here has been a bit of a problem spot, but it doesn't look too bad right now. Uh, they're getting in. We were having a lack of goods getting into this area, and there's still a couple businesses that just aren't filling it right now, as far as not enough goods to sell. So, we'll have to continue to work on our industrial sections out here. They're doing okay, and I'm not really understanding this. 
Uh, let's go ahead and check our district out here. This is almost all the way zoned in. Uh, I've been trying to get them to, uh, let's put that in there. I've been putting in basically non-educated workers up in this neighborhood here, and I was hoping that they would fill this out a little bit better, but they really haven't quite yet. And this is where a lot of our goods are coming from. So I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do there. Uh, it seems like the oil over here, this is where we had some nice pockets. I don't know if that dries up. You know, that's one of the first times I've ever actually played with that. And it seems like they are they have a lack of raw materials right now. So there's a couple things I need to work on out here. The neighborhood, Emerson Park's actually doing relatively well. It's pretty packed in. I've got it spaced out enough from the industrial district that I don't feel bad about possibly poisoning people. But yeah, I have to figure this area out a little bit more. Now there's something I want to show you guys. Look at this. You see this cruise ship line? I don't know if something's broken or I'm thinking about relocating this cruise ship uh, little harbor or terminal here because I want to clear this up. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if we're just getting that big of an influx of tourists that the, the little ship depot here can't keep up. Uh, if you guys know any solutions to this, and it might just be the way the map's laid out is the reason this is happening, but if you guys know any solutions to this, uh, comment below because this is a little crazy looking. I mean, it seems like all of our cargo ships are getting in, uh, but the cruise ships, they're just backed up, and I've never seen that before, so. Okay, I'm back in the uh, little park we just built. I'm going to fill out some more trees in here. It uh, looks like we're, we've got several different types in here that I can stick around. It's actually going to look fairly nice. I, I'm kind of liking this area here, so let's go and do that. A couple more down here. Now, there's another theater that I would like to use. I'm about to pull it out. Let's go ahead and find some, uh, like, park benches. Uh, I don't think I'm going to stick a pavilion in this one. I stick a pavilion in almost, like, every one of my parks. Uh, let's just go with some benches along the, uh, the sides here. There we go. A couple here. Let's do a couple across from each other. There we go. Uh, I don't need too many of these things. I haven't seen anybody using these paths yet, which is a little odd. Normally they do. I guess there's not much foot traffic through here yet. So we'll see if that increases once we start to add more zoning and districts out here. Speaking of districts, is this in the district? No, it isn't. Uh, it's good that I checked that. There we go. All right, looks like it's getting dark again. I'm about to plan my next move. I'm going to go through a couple more specialty buildings and see exactly what we can add here. Oh, right, we are back. It is day, and I figured out what I want to build here. Now, I've been looking at some of these monuments, and there is something here that is, it's caught my eye. It's called the Space Elevator. People near and far travel to the city to see the Space Elevator. This means a huge influx of tourists who like to spend money, and I like money in this game. So, what we're going to do here, we've got a couple awkward uh, spots here in the tourist district. Now, the tourism uh, district has this park here, which I'm fine with this one, but there's an awkward area similar to the park where I just have these buildings lined up, and there's a big gap in the middle. So what we're going to do here, by the way, the city streets, these are actually really busy in this district. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut this out. So let's go ahead and dezone here and here. And that's going to give us a big spot right in this area. And I think that's where the space elevator is going to go. Uh, we can kind of try to build some stuff around it. It's actually pretty massive. So let's go ahead and move the taxi depot. We can move it down to this corner here. Uh, what is this? Is this something? A public house. Come on, just get, go. Go. <laughs> leave. Everybody needs to leave here. So, okay, what we're going to do... This is the leisure district, so I hope that doesn't cut this in half, but we need to include this little section in the tourism district right there. So we've got that, and it is time for the space elevator. So let's go ahead and stick this out. Look how ridiculous this thing looks. That's cool. Okay, is this... what is center on this? I believe this is pretty well center right here. Now this thing is expensive, but we've got the money. We're making almost 50 plus a week or 50k. So let's go ahead and build that. Oh, oh, look at the happiness. Why does it bring the residents happiness? Okay, so we're gonna place that. <laughs> it looks a little odd, but it's kind of one of those buildings that's, it's neat. I like it. It might be off center by one block, but I don't know if this is exactly even. I guess I could actually measure that. 
So we have that there. Now we need to probably decorate a little bit of the area around it. And this is looking so odd, this, this boat issue. Hmm. Boats come in from the other side too. I mean, this is where the, uh, we call this, I guess the channel. This is where they come in. They come in over here too. So I'm trying to figure out why they're so stacked up. I don't know if having another, another uh, like cruise ship harbor, I don't think they'll actually utilize it. I don't really know. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and pay attention to this down here. Now, what do we want to do with this little area? By the way, that is a dead power line. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Let's get rid of it th there. That shouldn't disconnect anything. All right, so we've got that right across from it. Is this zoned in? Yes, it is. Um, what is that zoned in as? I guess high-density commercial? Or is that low-density? It's a little uh, light-looking. That's actually low-density. Okay, so we have this little area. We've already got all the bus lines, and there's people actually piling out of it right now. Um, I'm trying to think if we want to add, or what we want to add around it. I think we should probably do something similar to the way we do our parks. Maybe add a couple, not like really curved, uh, pathways, morally straight ones here. So say, let's go pavement paths on each side of it there. It's kind of surrounded a bit in pavement paths. So it would look neat to have everybody actually walking around it. Okay, what else do we have here? I don't think I have anything else that's really worth it. I'm still waiting for some of these other monuments to uh, unlock. I need to actually start working on those. Uh, let's see what else we have. All right, we have a little concert hall that I'm actually going to stick here at the corner. I've been staring at this for a second. And I actually think that looks good. Now, I need to figure out these little squares here might just become dense with trees. I think I actually want to keep them open around the little space uh, elevator here. All right, so the last little thing we're going to do here, I'm just kind of reintroducing you guys to all of our areas. Uh, this is where we started the whole City Skylines map, and basically the series out was on this side in Coleridge Park, Sycamore Heights, Cozy District. I'm going to work on a little bit of a neighborhood over here, kind of keep it in a similar manner that we've been doing in Coleridge. We have our main uh, avenue roads and then they square off into these like little unique districts in there or little little communities I, I, That's what I'd like to think of it as uh, it's really kind of cool looking uh, so The idea behind that is to basically you have the squares, but you don't have a ton of intersections going out to the outer ring That way traffic constantly flows and you'll have like a one in and like a one out as far as your ways of uh, traveling in between the district so you get this square here, we'll probably add a little outer section maybe here. And then, don't want to do cross streets on this one, or do we want to cross them? Actually, let's do it like, let's do it like this. Now this is probably going to leave, I think it leaves a gap when I do this, uh, right in the center. So, let's go ahead and make this right here. Now, I'm always open to feedback if you guys have any suggestions for areas you'd like to see built. Uh, we've got a lot of area back here. I'm not quite sure what I would want to do with it. It's like a mountain range, basically, but I can picture there being a really neat district or area up here. I've just got to start running the roads out this way. So, anyways, let's go ahead. So light this one up real quick. We've got a demand right now for residential, which is kind of refreshing to see because we've been losing population this episode. So I'm very, very happy to see that. So let's go and open that up there. Uh, ooh, my pipes. My pipes are a little odd over here. Normally try to keep those as straight as possible, but sometimes I do get off a bit on them. So there we go. That should fill out nicely. It's a nice area. It is in the district, so they've got high-tech housing, like recycling. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on for this area, and this will probably... This square, and then probably one more square will be made right here, and that's going to end Coleridge. Uh, Coleridge will stop there. Uh, it's kind of a squared off neighborhood. Uh, anything beyond that, I'd like to make it a little bit a little bit more unique. But this was at a time where I was trying to get this close to the uh, commercial district there. And we are disconnected. Wow, that one line was really protecting like half of this. That is crazy. Okay, that is a, that's good to know. Every time you disconnect something like that, it's always good to know what it actually cuts off. Because we're going to need to redirect that. But anyways, we've got the outer ring uh, available there. I'm going to let them fill up this one first before we rush in and try to do another square. But I'm fairly happy with that area. 
I go ahead and go over here. Kent Hills is over here. Sheffield Square, which I don't know why it's called square because, I mean, it's plainly obvious that it's not a square. It looks like a flag, actually. It kind of waves. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do a lot of work here. There's some uh, issues I need to address here in the city. So I'll try to do a little bit a little bit of that in between episodes. That way it's not me constantly trying to do, like, traffic and all that. Uh, but I do appreciate all the support on this series. Actually, you can see one of my problems right now. They constantly demand, uh, oh, there's not water over here, okay. Let's go and hook into there and back to the road. Yeah, they constantly demand commercial, but you get behind a little bit. So you can see these little icons appearing uh, where they're not getting goods. And that kind of ricochets back off into our industrial section, which I need to work on a bit. Because we have a lack of workers, even though we have supplied them with a worker area. So, uh, there's a couple things I'm going to look at. Uh, we'll work on that in between episodes. But if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. I want to thank you guys for all the support on the City Skylines. Uh, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.